Hey guys, Dark Skeleton here, and today we're taking a look at a few more cards from the Whispers of the Old Gods set, including the new Rogue Legendary, which I am already liking a lot. But let's get started with Tentacles for Arms, a ridiculous new warrior weapon that's being added to the game. I'm noticing that even though it's the Old Gods expansion, uh, expansion that Blizzard still has something of a sense of humor, like... <laughs> Tentacles for arms. What kind of card is that? But hey, whatever. Anyway, it's a five mana two two weapon. That death rattle we turn this to your hand um, basically means that a warrior can put one copy of this in their deck and have weapons forever until they want to swap it out for a gore howl or something. Um, yeah, you would think this is pretty bad because it's just so slow and it doesn't do enough damage in some cases. Uh, but in the long run, there's a lot of value to be gained from this. You could use it to keep swinging at the opponent's face, and then you could kind of think of it as 10 turns, do 20 damage uh, for a lot of mana, though. Uh, it would take a lot of mana, that's true. Um, because it doesn't death rattle resummon summon it to the board, it goes back to your hand. So, is this actually going to be a card that's playable? Um, you know, it kind of depends. It's super, 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 super slow like ridiculously slow but it does have infinite value um, I'm gonna kinda lean towards no maybe fatigue decks will play around with a card like this and try one copy of it but I, I feel like if a fatigue deck tries to be so greedy as to put a five man or two two weapon in the deck and actually play it that uh, the other person's just gonna be like okay take your infinite value I'm just gonna rush you down um, so I don't really necessarily think that's going to work out the way some people would want it to do in Arena, it might actually be uh, probably too slow as well. Like, <clears throat> when you have a card that's infinite value, like a Dread Steed, you obviously have to make it weak and slow, otherwise it would break the game. Um, but currently, there's not really as many ways to abuse an item like this and really make it super good like Dread Steed, because you could Sacrificial Pack to Dread Steed before, you could use Baron Rivendare for a Dread Steed, you could Malganus to give all your Dread Steeds plus two, plus two, and that kind of worked. Um, but there's nothing like give your weapon, well, actually there is one card, the, um, the, uh, the Smith guy, whatever his name is, the 4-6 Smith for five mana, uh, battle, oh, no, 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 Enrage, give your weapon plus two attack. I guess that does exist, but it's never really played, and I don't think it's going to be played with this card just for that effect. Um, so, all in all, funny card, but probably not going to see too much play, if I'm honest. Okay, uh, we'll get back to the toxins in a minute. So, the toxins are actually part of the Rogue Legendary. The Boogie Monster, it's an 8-mana 6-7. Uh, that's pretty sad. Whenever this minion attacks and kills another minion, gain plus 2, plus 2. So a lot of people have been comparing the Boogie Monster to Gruul, which is, I believe, 8 mana, 7-7, seven, seven, gain plus 1, plus 1 for every single turn that ends, including your opponent's turns. Um, Gruul isn't really played because it's like, oh, a big monster, well, Polymorph, or BGH, or whatever, and it pretty much just dies. The Boogie Monster at least can't be BGH'd on the turn it comes out without an abusive sergeant or something like that. Uh, but that said... Would you really want to pay 8 mana for a 6-7 that has the potential to get stronger? I mean, even if it gets the effect once, then it's like, what, an 8-9 for 8 mana? That's not even that good. And expecting him to survive until he kills 2 or more minions is a bit ridiculous. Um, given your opponent can't just trade in their board to kill it because... Oh wait, no, actually they can. It's when it attacks and kills another minion. So it's even worse than that. It's it's not like an anti-trade mechanism. It's just a minion that can theoretically get bigger, but it's never going to. Uh, the Boogie Monster is complete garbage. <laughs> Sorry, it just is. But this new Rogue Legendary I do like a lot, actually. Zero of the Poisoned Mind. Four mana, three, two. Battle Cry and Death Rattle. Add a random Toxin card to your hand. So, um... Apparently this guy had some uh, importance in the Warcraft universe as one of the Zillithid uh, alchemists, or like the Royal Alchemist or something like that, but uh, I never actually experienced him. So let's go through all of the uh, toxins that actually are relevant to him being played as a card. Uh, Blood Thistle Toxin. Return a friendly minion to your hand. It costs two less. Basically it's pay one mana for a shadow step. Um, which could be pretty good, actually. Uh, you could 
it, okay, it would be stupid, but you could use it to replay, uh, to replay this guy. Uh, Brythor Toxin. Give a minion plus three attack. Uh, that's pretty good for one mana. That's basically a blessing of might. Uh, Fade Leaf Toxin. Give a friendly minion stealth until your next turn. A uh, weaker version of, uh, shoot, what do they even call it? The stealth card. Not Vanish, but um, Conceal. It's a one minion version of Conceal, but the thing about Conceal is you only ever really want to conceal one minion anyway. It's usually like a Gadget Sand Auctioneer or something of that nature that you're trying to protect, and being able to conceal one minion, that's perfectly fine. It's pretty much as good as Conceal. Fire Bloom Toxin. Deal two damage. Uh, doesn't have to be to a minion, so it's basically a Holy Smite. King's Blood Toxin. Draw a card. Uh, one mana draw a card is pretty good, actually. This might be one of the stronger ones here. Um, how much would a just cycle one card through your deck cost? Eh. Is draw a card better than a tracking, where tracking you pick uh, one of your next three cards? Probably not quite as good as tra tracking, actually, considering that tracking you get to pick which card you draw. Um, so all of these cards are on par or a little bit weaker than another one mana spell from uh, different classes throughout the um, <coughs> Hearthstone game currently. But you get two of them. So you could kind of think of it as four mana, three, two, draw two, or add two uh, one mana spells to your hand, one of which is going to be kind of delayed. And that's pretty dang good, actually. Um, anything that kind of lets you get two extra cards out of it, even if they're weak cards, is pretty good. And specifically with Rogue, weak spells are really good with Rogue. If you're going to be playing Gadget Sand Auctioneer or that kind of thing, um, they love to have extra toxin cards because it's a one mana spell that cycles you into another uh, spell. Or you could play it with Maligos and then the uh, two damage. Uh, which which toxin was that again? The two damage five bloom toxin becomes one mana deal seven damage. Uh, given that they're pretty good on its own too, it, you don't really need to be playing Miracle Rogue for this guy to be played. Um, it's just kind of a value minion. It's slow. Definitely, because it takes six mana to play all the cards out. But you do get quite a bit of value out of it. Um, yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, you're basically paying four mana for two two that draws you two one mana spells. It, it's good. I think this is a good card. Um, but it is slow. So maybe it would be played more in control decks or more in decks that revolve around cheap spells and really benefit off of that, i.e. Gadget Sand Auctioneer. Uh, definitely, if I pick this guy up, I'll be wanting to use him in my Rogue deck. So, pretty cool card, pretty unique. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. So, I've been Dark Skeleton. Thank you for watching, and tune in to my next video, where we'll be continuing to talk about more Whispers of the Old Gods cards as they come out. Who knows what will be next? Okay, peace, guys.